Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a Cane's mukbang and I am sorry I have not posted a video in like over a week. It's been a while. I actually could not find my camera anywhere um, and I debated on filming on my phone and just air dropping it to my laptop and editing like that but I hate filming on my phone like I really do it overheats and like right now my phone's even burning hot and I haven't even done anything on it besides GPS my way here <laughs> we are gonna order really quick which I'm surprised there's not a line because it's Saturday hello hi you can order whenever you're ready could I do the three chicken finger combo with a lemonade and okay. two extra cane sauces. Anything else for you? Nope, that's it. All right. Well, I have eight three pair combos with lemonade and then two extra cane sauces. Yep. All right, it's gonna be 10.05 extra second thank you. Okay, thank you. I was gonna get the big cup of sauce, but I'm so, I have some self-control. I'm not gonna do it today. <laughs> I know lots of you guys have been wondering where I've been and I'm doing a Q&A &A in this video, but I just want to tell you right now. So, I actually have been in the process of moving. Um, so, ever since the car accident, um, I hated where I lived because it was on the street where the car accident happened. So, every day I had to drive by and relive it and like see it was like just bringing back terrible and traumatic visions in my head same with my mom like we all did not want to drive on that road and that was the road I lived on it was the only way to get anywhere is to like have to see a cross on the side of the road it would make me cry just every day just driving on that road and also all of us going back to my house and my brother his first time even seeing my house like all of us just staying there for weeks after it happened just crying like it was just terrible memories and energy in that house and area like I never really want to go to that street ever again and ever since it happened I have been wanting to move and like just start fresh I'm scared of that road too like it's so dangerous and I never looked at it that way until obviously all that happened but the road is just so skinny and everyone speeds on it and we've like told like the city too and they do nothing about it. I have not seen cops sitting on that road since the accident and they said they would have more like speed monitor things and have more cops on that road. I have not seen a cop on that road literally since September and people go so fast on that road so I, it is just PTSD for my mom to be driving on that road, especially at night. I'm afraid of it. When I drive there, I can just see what I saw that night, and I have hated it ever since. Hated it. So, I have been looking to move ever since. Hi, 10.05. Hi. Okay, that box won't stay closed, just so you know. Okay, thank you. Day. You too. Got my extra sauce. So, yeah, I've been there about a week so far. I looked, I was wanting to move ever since, um, but I didn't jump into anything right away. Um, but I'm closer to my mom now and in a very safe area. So right now, I am absolutely loving it there. Like, I feel like it's like a new beginning and has like me focusing on something else. And I don't know, I, I'm excited to show you guys and I plan to film a making vodka pasta video sometime next week in the new kitchen. But I've been wanting to share it. I just didn't want to make it like a big dramatic like video like I'm moving and it's obviously such a pain to move too especially because I had like the fence put in and some other things that I upgraded but like I could just not do it like I literally would not be thinking about it and be like waking up feeling good and then as soon as I would drive in that spot my I like would be in the worst mood ever I'm excited to turn the page and 
hopefully it can help like with healing and all of that kind of stuff too so I will definitely be vlogging here soon and showing you guys just I've been organizing and unboxing for days so I just want to get that like organized and situated a little bit first okay thumbnail time mmm that is so good who likes my outfit I never really wear yellow but I actually really love it so I got this at Target it is a romper and it's so comfy and it has pockets I will post a picture of like the name of it right here but it's so comfy and they had it in a few other colors I kind of want it in like black or white too because I love it it's so so comfy and rompers are the best like to wear if you go out to dinner or lunch you can like really eat and like be comfy <laughs> mm. I have been wanting this so bad so I'm about like 30 minutes away from Keens now which maybe is a good thing <laughs> but I'm like I'll make that drive I I'm not like I don't think I'm not the type of person that thinks 30 minutes is a long drive so I don't mind at all but don't expect a house tour I will not be doing one of those for my own safety because there's weird people online <laughs> but you will definitely see like my kitchen and some rooms I decorate and stuff over on my vlog channel but I'm just not gonna do like a full-on house tour like showing everything but yes it definitely feels like out of the places I've lived it feels the most like home and it's just so cozy and all my friends that have came over have all said the same thing too I don't know what it is about it but it just feels like right and I love it I just really do oh this is so hot So I did save some questions. Let me pull some of them up. My cracked phone screen, you guys, is getting more and more cracked. Okay. Let's see. How do you get your hair to look so shiny and full? Um, well, you see, it's extensions. <laughs> My hair is extensions. My hair up top. Is like real but I've always had very like thin and brittle hair and I do put heat on my hair so I just try and wash it once a week and just use lots of products on it like split end products and I should probably do like a whole hair care routine video because but I do change it up all the time too but yeah I do have extensions and which it's crazy because I feel like my hair lady, which is also my friend, she like matched my hair perfectly. Like you can't even tell. Why is Cane's so good? Seriously, why? It's just chicken. I had chicken fingers yesterday, too. Okay. Have you received any signs from your dad since the last update? No. I really have not. Um, I know I've told you guys, like, the leaf story. Which, when I was moving in, there was, like, a random leaf sitting on the floor upstairs. I just don't really know what to believe. 
and like the microwave beeping like that like slowly stopped but then like also online it said something about like if your microwave beeps sevens it means that you just have to clean the inside of it so like I don't really know I've seen like some cardinals and stuff but I don't really feel like it's science which is so sad it really is it still feels like unreal too like I know lots of you ask like how do I cope and stuff I still cry all the time I kind of just like feel like it's not real like I just like, I can't even believe how much time has gone by and how much has happened that, like, my dad doesn't even know about. Like, oh, I don't want to cry. Like, just, like, thinking about that makes me want to cry. But, yeah, it's just, like, I, like, just don't, I'm, like, don't believe it. I just don't believe it. Don't want to cry. I got these eyelash extension things put on. So, they, like, last, like, four days. You do it at home. I love them. I just ordered like the starter kit because my friend put these ones on me. And the starter kit is so cute. It comes with everything you need in like this little miniature suitcase. So I'll probably do an unboxing and like tutorial on my vlog channel. But yeah, they're supposed to stay on like four days. Which is perfect for summer. Do you have any plans of coming to Italy anytime soon? No, but I would love, love to go to Italy. That's like my next place I really want to go to. I think I would love it there. But no, I don't really have any plans actually to go anywhere. Favorite movie and movie snacks. Okay, movie theater popcorn is the best thing ever with extra butter and lots of salt. I love movie theater popcorn and cookie dough bites. And if you put the cookie dough bites in the popcorn, it makes the chocolate all like melty. It's so good. I think my favorite movie is Step Brothers. I just love Step Brothers. Or Happy Gilmore, that's a funny one. This person said, you don't get tired of your daily routine. Um, I change out my routine all the time. So, no. I'm like always like doing different things and trying new things. So me and my friend are going to start this class. It's like a like a climbing exercise class they say you're guaranteed to burn a thousand calories per class which I'm like oh gosh I'm going to pass out <laughs> like that's a lot the class is an hour long and it's like in the dark and they have cool lights so it's like lighting up rainbow and stuff on like your climbing wall and everyone gets a pair of headsets and the instructor can talk to you through the headset and like they're also playing music and then like everyone's listening to the same music and we're gonna try it next week and I'll let you guys know how it goes I I definitely am not in the best shape like for cardio so I don't know we'll see how it goes but you gotta start somewhere so we're gonna try that next week and then I've also been doing yoga and Pilates well I haven't started Pilates yet I'm working on starting Pilates It's just at the same studio. Someone said, have you had a boob job? Mm-mm. I have not. <laughs> if anything, I've gained like five pounds. No, I'm not. I'm not against them either. I think anyone should do whatever they want in their life. 
because you only live once and if there's something you want done do it why not don't let anyone stop you or judge you because guess what it's your life and just live it how you want to live it without caring about what anyone else has to say I would be scared to get one though It just seems scary. These are some like pretty big chicken fingers this time. Will you come to Miami? I would love to. I love Miami, Florida so much. What's your Starbucks order? I get an iced brown sugar shaken oat milk espresso with the salted caramel cold foam on top. I don't always get that because then it makes the drink like $7, which is ridiculous, but it's so good. It really is so good. So I usually will just get the brown sugar drink. Half the time I add the foam on top. And I've been loving their roasted egg white bites. Those are so good. So I've been getting that because like I, I don't have that much in my fridge and stuff yet. I need to start back up my HelloFresh because like I don't know what to cook. I never know what to make for dinner unless it's like pasta. Other than that, I have no clue besides like a sandwich. <laughs> like it's so hard to come up with like something to make. There was another question I saw too. It said like, would you rather cook every day or like get takeout every day? I'd rather get takeout every day. On to the third. Oh my gosh. And don't get me wrong. I love home cooked meals. Like I love them. But I love takeout. It's just easy. Like you don't have to clean up anything after. And it's like hard having like all the ingredients you need without them going bad. And like that is why I love HelloFresh so much because like it gives you the exact amount of each ingredient so like nothing is going to waste. And you don't have to go to the store and buy like a whole thing of it for like so much more money. Like I went and got all the ingredients I needed for lasagna soup and I spent 50 bucks for all this stuff to get. Like, at that point, it's so much cheaper just to go get Chipotle. So, I don't know. I probably eat out half of the week. I'm on, like, a Chipotle obsession, which I used to not really like Chipotle, and I liked hot head burritos, but now I'm, like, obsessed with Chipotle. <laughs> I go through food phases for sure. Mm. Let's try the lemonade. So my friend's coming over once I get back home. I'm so weird with liking like other kinds of drinks, but we might go to the pool and like bring a Stanley cup full of like some drink or something so we could like, you know, put some of that in it. Mm, this was so good today. That's one thing about Cane's, it's always consistent, always. Okay, last question. Okay, we'll do two. How many times a day do you feed your dogs? I feed them morning and night. If the dog is smaller, they say it's better to feed them twice because if you do it all at once, it's like a lot for their stomach. But I mean, just whatever your vet says and recommends probably depends on the food and all that. But yeah, I feed both of them breakfast and dinner. And then last question, did you apply for the bachelorette? I did. I I did. Um, I haven't heard back, which I don't know how like soon they start planning it. 
But I don't even think I'd want to be on it anyways. Like, if they accepted me, I don't even think I would want to go on it. We kind of, like, me and my friends applied me, like, kind of as a joke. And you had to, like, send your social media links and all that stuff, too. So if they were to accept me, I don't think I would. I don't know. I don't like anything. I hate drama. And I feel like that's what those shows are. And you just get, like, sucked into it. Or the way they'll edit you will make it seem like that's what's going on. And I just, like, don't like that. And I also don't feel like I want to be fighting for a man. Like, competing for a man. It just seems, like, so not natural. And then, like, your whole relationship is online. Which I feel like my next one, I don't really want it too public. At least not for a while. Until, like, we're married or something. Maybe not that far along. But, I don't know. I just want to make sure it's, like, serious. Because it, it, it is hard to date with the platform. Because, like, you never know people's true intentions. Like, I've talked to some guys and then... I'll literally notice comments like people think I like don't see comments like I always see the comments of like fake profiles that will leave comments saying like oh she's talking to this guy and like say their full name and like when I've told no one that I went on one date with this person or anything like that and it's like a fake profile like I think it's them like trying to like get their name out there like I went on a few dates with this guy who was like a DJ producer and then I was getting those comments and I'm like no one would know I didn't post any photos with him or anything and the few friends I told would never do anything like that so it's like I think it's them just trying to get like their name out there so it's like hard because you never know like someone's real intentions and that's what like stinks Because obviously, like, I don't mind being single, but, like, I wouldn't, I'd rather not be. But I'm not going to just date someone to date someone. Like, I'm only going to date someone, like, if it's, if it feels completely right and, like, perfect. So, yeah, I've just been honestly focusing on myself and healing myself as well. So... Just like, we'll see what happens. I'll be 23 soon. Ah, well, that was so good. Mm, really really good that hit the spot I've been wanting canes for weeks now <laughs> it's been a while it's been a long time probably since my last canes video whenever that was a few months ago I usually don't get lots of fast food places if I'm not filming I save like my cravings for my videos so I like really enjoy it and I'm really craving it unless I'm like with my friends and it's like a late Friday Saturday night and we like DoorDash Taco Bell or something like that but but that's also when I'm like really craving it <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video let me know what you'd like to see next and I think soon I will do the new video in the new kitchen. But thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.